Right, we'll talk about football in just a second, but I have a question. Do you, do you dye your hair for Harry Potter or to make it more ginger or to make it less ginger in real life? <laughs> no, we, we've actually been dyeing it ginger for 10 years. Have you? Yeah, so it was quite, quite intense, but uh, Jenny, who does the hair, did a good job. So luckily it hasn't fallen out yet. This is our natural uh, colour. So that's real. That's your yeah. natural colour. Oh, okay. I saw that. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Did they say in the, con in the contract, they say, look, you have to be, you know, you're obviously going to have to be ginger? Yeah, the parts had to be ginger. And we, I mean, we've worn wigs um, in reshoots, and it's pretty horrible, so it's just easier to do that. And they, they bleached the eyebrows and that as well. So for the last oh, 10 years, wow. how much have you spent ginger? About seven. Seven. About seven oh, years. Wow. Maybe a bit more. No, more than that, yeah. So you will have experience of what it's like to be ginger and not be ginger. Do people treat you differently as a ginger? <laughs> <laughs> a bit, yeah. I was, uh, I was actually at White Hart Lane watching uh, Villa play Spurs years ago. And we were sitting, so I'm in the away end and you're in the home end there, like right next to each other. And Villa scores, so we were all this, that and the other. And the whole block there was singing, sit down, you ginger. Twit. <laughs> and uh, you and did you want to say it's not my natural hair? No, I ended up just going like that, and they they okay. shut up after that. But <laughs> it was uh, it was it was all right. There isn't a song back for this is not my natural hair colour. No, no, <laughs> it just no. wouldn't work on a football pitch. What, Max? Yeah. Good and interesting ginger chat. Thanks. Is that um, done now? I don't know. Are you? No, I'm, you? I'm done with ginger chat. Yeah, just see, it, because <laughs> I've just been consumed with you being twins and one of you's Villa and one of you's Birmingham. Oh. It's yeah. just yes. Oh God, look at that hair. Yeah. Yes, we all dyed hair. <laughs> that found that picture online yesterday. <laughs> right, how has this happened, Oliver? You're Villa, James. You're Birmingham. How has it happened? Um, well, really, I'm Villa because my granddad was a Villa fan and all my friends are Villa fans. We live in the Villa part of Birmingham. And uh, James was lied to by my dad. Well, Ooh. Ooh. when I was about, it was about five, yeah, about four or five, and you're kind of understanding football a bit more. And um, basically, my, my dad's a Birmingham fan, always has been. And he basically said, uh, be a Birmingham fan. And I said, why? And from what I can remember, he pretty much told me Liverpool's history, but instead of Liverpool, he said Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the, uh, Brilliant. it was my second ever game was when I saw them lose 2-0 to K Kidderminster, and I kind of thought, okay, this probably result. isn't the same, yeah. <laughs> but um, no, it's been really, really cool to see them be in Division 2, or the old Division 2, then Division 1, then Premier League. Yes. So it's, uh, yeah, really good. Okay. Big game tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Really massive. Do you, know, do you fall out on that day? Do you sit together at the game? Hands away? Um, <laughs> no, we've, we've only ever been to uh, the game once, uh, the Derby, which was the Carling Cup game earlier, well, in December last year, and I was in the away end, and James was in his season seat. And um, I wouldn't be doing that again. <laughs> it was pretty horrible. But, uh, but we have watched the game full on the telly together. And um, James's ex-girlfriend was up at the time. And it was when Villa scored in the last minute to win the game. I think the first time they did it. And she made them so my friend himself going absolutely wild. And uh, she said, but it's only a game. And, oh, and, oh and she didn't last. That's why it's an ex, really, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's why she didn't last. Um, you're not going? No, I'll be watching it on the TV. Um, yeah. You're going? I'm going, yeah. Okay. yeah. So have you got a ticket and how come you...? Well, I sit in the Birmingham end. Yeah. I've got a season ticket in the Birmingham end and I don't think you'd be seen dead there, would you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you, oh. no, not, not after so the you Carling Cup game. So you don't go away? No, I do go away. Oh. Um, I made the mistake this year of going up to Newcastle, which is a 6-0 thrashing, and then the Carling Cup game in, in December yeah. at St Andrews, and it was a bit of a hairy night for an away fan there. He's yeah. good luck for Villa away. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I see a lot of goals going the other way, unfortunately. You've had a managerial change this season, so how yeah. do you feel about, uh, about that? It's, it's a shame that um, Gerald Hulier's been put in that situation. That it's Martin O'Neill's mess, really. He walked out with, what, five days before the season starts? Yeah. And, um, which is a real shame for, for the Villa fan base. But he's, hopefully it'll turn around. He's play, they play attractive football, but it's just not, just not quite working for now. But Walker, who they signed on, on loan from Spurs, looks fantastic. So hopefully he'll uh, he'll do another super goal like he got against Sheffield at the weekend. And okay. you've got some you picked up Bentley from Spurs on loan. And is Robbie Keane signed? I think so this morning. It's yeah, all but it's really, yeah. It's been yeah. accepted. Yeah. Uh, do you think they're going to make the difference? I hope so. You need we, to score goals. Yeah, we need. To, it's it's quite frustrating, I guess, because it's never. We always seem to go behind one or two goals, and then you start playing, which is quite frustrating as a fan because. You know, the times when like we played Blackpool and like we beat them 2-0 at home, that was a good game. But it was, I think it's just about putting the ball in the net, which they're finding trouble to do. Um, so hopefully, yeah, uh, Bentley and you say Keane will add, add to it. 
Um, but yeah, Matt Derbyshire scored quite a few goals in the cup the other day, and um, yeah, so hopefully we can see what happens. So if you go to, because obviously you're in the Harry Potter films together. Because I was thinking, do you get much Harry Potter banter? Because because football fans are brilliant with their with what they think of. I mean, I know that you just had the sit down, your ginger yeah. thingy bob. Brilliant, and brilliant. Stuff, you know, yeah. it, was, it, was, it, it was very quick witted at the time. It, it is either very basic and rude, isn't it, or very clever. Has, have any fans given you some some Harry Potter type stick that you thought actually that's quite funny? Not really. Uh, oh, um, right not well. Really, I think no. at, at Birmingham, everyone's kind of just like the game, and that's that's all that's going on. And then maybe try and sing something about the away team and. Get behind the home team. That's pretty much it, really. So uh, Birmingham fans are the best, though. For for the, I love when they're, they're announcing the away team. Who? Yeah. It's just brilliant. And other teams <laughs> have tried to adopt it. And it just and it doesn't work. Birmingham fans and uh, pacing out with the referee as well. When the referee goes ten paces and they count with him. It's only the Birmingham fans that do that. They are brilliant. There you go. Thanks yeah. for your Birmingham. <laughs> Sorry, Oliver. No, Birmingham fans no, are brilliant. No, no, no. The Trevor Villa fans are great. Let's well. talk Harry Potter for a bit. Have you filmed the last movie? That's done. Yeah, we. Yeah, that's yeah. We, we uh, finished we, December. December. We yeah. did a few reshoots then, and that's out in uh, July time. This so that's sort of ten years of your life. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's what, like, what, what happens now? What do you do? You just get up and go. Oh, don't know what. I don't know what to do. Kind of. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was. It was quite a shock after. After when it all finished and uh, our very last day at the studios was quite a... You, you start to take in the whole place and walking around thinking, I'm, I'm not going to see this again. And mm. it, was, it was quite surreal to, uh, to go through that. And what are your plans? Yeah, you must have stayed in acting, I presume. Yeah, yeah. certainly, yeah. We're, uh, we've got a few things coming up later um, in like March time or so, but we're uh, going to do a bit of travelling away. For a little bit. But you mean you're not going to stay acting always as a twin set? <laughs> no, no, not, not necessarily. No, we'll be. Um, going I mean, up there will the be same times. Roles. That's that's the thing. We don't know whether to. Uh, we probably yeah. won't go for the same role because the casting director may look there and go, oh, he's been in, hasn't yeah. he? So, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But hopefully, the thing it'll is, go yeah, well. you could go. You could go up for a role, and if you kind of hash up the audition, you could just say that you're your brother. <laughs> 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 go round again and have yeah. another go. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, James. Years ago. You sent us an MMS oh message, God. didn't you, to the show? I didn't, my friend did. OK, well, Oliver, <laughs> you tipped us off about this and said <laughs> that you might be a little bit embarrassed because this is uh, you at the Amsterdam Arena. And I can say you're definitely not a <laughs> are you? Oliver and James Phelps, everyone. Thanks, boys.